<laughs> so Alice is panning our concentrations here. <laughs> Doing a good job. It's just working brilliant now. Got no bumps. Putting that bit of matting across the top, that off cut, the other way up. And that just evens that flow out across the bed. And just gently travels that heavies away and leaves gold behind. So that's it, last couple of spoons of the cons. And this is what we've got left on the table. So there's a nice amount. And now we're going to clean up this gold. And we've got a little bit of black sand left with the the actual gold that I've cleaned up, so we're going to just run all the gold. I'm going to clean the machine first, and then we're going to run all the gold and try and clean it up completely. I'll show you how I clean it up now. It's just like a sluice. Just pull the mat and wash it out. So that's my little rib bit. And just pick up the mat, keep it level, bring it over, and just wash it like that. Turn it over and you just wash it like you would any other sluice matting. Have we got it all off there? Nice and clean. And the reason I bought this man, he's got this lovely ribbed other side, so I thought we could use that as a sluice. But uh, I haven't got around to looking at that yet. So, but this side works great as the miller matting. Straight back in like that, job done. Bit of fairy to make that gold sink to the bottom. Tip off the excess water. Still got a bit of black sand from underneath the mat, I think it comes. So that is the disappointing thing about having a pullable miller table mat. You'll get a bit of black sand stuck underneath. And that's the final the final bit from uh, the last few spoonfuls of those cons. So we're going to add it all together, clean the lot up, put all the gold on the table, clean the finest black sands from it so it's completely pure and then we'll see how much we got. This is it, I've just cleaned the machine down and we're just going to put gold through it. Uh, it's empty at the moment because I've fully cleaned it. The mat now sits down completely flat. We've put an off cut of the mat in as a water regulator so it makes a nice sheet of water across the bed. 
Um, the, the, we've got the bed adjuster we put on last time. And now the, the speed control has made its point and we've made a nice little mounting for him on the back. So we can adjust it like that. And it's... Well, welcome back. It's finished. We've been the last two weeks building this um, uh, Miller table. I didn't know if it'd work. I didn't like it to start with. You followed me through the construction of it if you've been watching my videos the last couple of weeks. And this is it. It's finished. You'll see no more of this for a while now. Um, I got, got used to it. It works. It catches really fine gold. Uh, we've overcome all the little faults and stuff. And today, all I'm going to do really is we've got minor, minute bits of black sand in the gold. And I'm going to just put all the gold on the table and see if we can wash the mine micro black sands out of it. So we've now got the table level and flat. We're going to put the water on at a very low speed. But not, never pour your gold on the table and then start the water, it'll just wash off the end of the table. So we're going to start it up at a slow speed, then add the gold and then raise the bed until the micro black sand starts separating. That's if we can even see them because they are microscopic. So we've got a lovely flat sheet now. No bumps in it, just a lovely sheet of water. That oh, I've used an offcut of my uh, of the mat, turned it, reversed it, and that just sort of evens the flow of the water out. So we're on 22 percent of the speed pump speed. We might bring it up a little, but I think we'll tilt the bed as we chuck, tip the gold on to start with. Now, this is what the sluice recovered. There's a little bit of lead and micro black sands. And this is what I've recovered with this Miller table. Absolute micro gold. So we're going to try and get the micro black sands out of it. Well, I've messed up there. I haven't put any jet dry in the water and all the gold's floated. What a disaster. I don't know what to do now. Can I get upstairs and get the jet dry before the gold floats away? Let's go. What a nightmare. Clean the machine out because it made a catastrophe there, didn't I? Not adding the jet dry. Removing the black sands by the Miller table didn't work out, so I ended up panning it. And uh, I think I've learned the lesson. At the end of the day, you've got to use your gold band. But the Miller table works, it's a great machine and it picks up that tiny gold. Thanks for watching.